Welcome to Ditch Auto, my name's Jared, and we're gonna talk about how to shoot video with your new Canon 5D Mark IV. Now this is a fantastic camera and it comes from a lineage of great cameras. The 5D line has been fantastic since the beginning and since Canon introduced video with the Canon 5D Mark II, it's definitely been a very, very cool camera to use. So we're gonna talk about how to shoot video. The first thing that you need to do is to go in and set up your settings. If you go into your menu options here, you can see, and of course we've got a touch screen so we could tap around, or you can use your rocker switches to get around your camera as well. Um, you can see here that as we toggle through our settings, we have uh, a lot of different settings that are available, um, but not many of them are available for video. That's because more settings are gonna become available when you go into video mode. Switch your camera into video mode using this rocker and you'll hear the mirror lock up in your camera. That essentially lets you know that you're in video mode and now you can no longer look through the viewfinder of your camera. You are left to using the back panel on your camera, which is fine. Um, let's go into our menu here and we'll toggle around in our menu and see what we have available to us. So you'll see we have movie record quality and if you go into movie record quality, we have two different uh, formats that we can choose, MOV and MP4. Those are simply different video formats that are available. In .MOV, you can see here that we have lots of different sizes and frame rates and all that stuff available for us, including 4K. If you go into MP4, you can see we have less options available to us. It's not always like that with all cameras, but with this camera, that's the case. So let's go into .MOV and take a look at some of these options. Now we have 4K at 2997, which is essentially 30 frames per second, all the way down to a full HD 1920 by 1080 at 2398 frames per second, which essentially is, uh, is 24 frames per second. If you wanna shoot 4K with your 5D Mark IV, you're gonna need an extremely fast card in the side of your camera. Now your camera does have a CF slot and an SD card slot, and with some of the fastest SD cards on the market at the current time of me uploading this video, you are not gonna be able to use them. You are gonna need an extremely fast CF card or card that fits in the CF slot. And I have some options available and the links are in the description below. So if you are looking to shoot video in 4K, know that you're gonna need one heck of a powerful card for that. The file size that this camera puts out is massive. Uh, Canon is just known for that. Regardless of what format you're shooting in, the file sizes are gonna be big, so I recommend getting a big card. And I have a couple of options in the description below for you, even if you're not gonna shoot 4K and you just want a good SD card for recording video too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the highest format for HD, which is FHD 594. 0.94p all I. We also have high frame rate that we can enable and it gives us some options. It says movie servo AF audio recording disabled with the high movie frame rate. Basically what that's telling you is if you go into the high frame rate recording, you're gonna lose audio capability. So you're gonna need an external audio device for capturing audio. You're also gonna lose movie servo AF, which is the dual pixel continuous autofocus that this camera is known for. So know that if you go and enable this, you're gonna lose that option and that's kind of a bummer. And then it also forces you down into 1920 by, or 1280 by 720, uh, but you do get 120 frames per second. Most of the time, and for most of us, we're probably gonna leave this disabled unless you have a really good reason for going into 120 frames per second, which may involve shooting uh, you know, action so that you can make it extremely slow motion. So now that we have that set, uh, let's toggle over and look at our audio settings. So let's scroll down here to sound recording. It's set to auto right now. If we go to manual, we can manually set these by simply toggling through and making adjustments. I highly recommend using manual as opposed to auto. Automatic means that it's going to adjust on the fly and if there's no audio like me talking, it's gonna boost up the background audio, which is gonna give you noise and fuzz, and you definitely don't want that. I recommend 
getting an audio level check from whatever source that you're gonna be filming from and putting it in manual and, and just making sure that their audio, even when they talk loud, is in the yellow and when they talk quiet is pretty high, uh, pretty close to 12 in that range of high in the white area to just above 12 is a good area to be in. Anything too far above 12 up towards zero in the red is gonna be peaking and you definitely don't want that. I highly recommend using an external microphone such as a Rode video mic. I'll put a link in the description below for that so that you can check it out. It mounts to your hot shoe and plugs in right over here to your microphone jack. You also have a headphone jack on this camera for monitoring your audio levels. I highly recommend that you take advantage of that. So now that we have those options set up, the only thing that you have left to do is start and hit record. You record a video by hitting the start button and you see a red icon in the top right hand corner. When you're done, hit stop and it finishes and it will create a file for you, a video file that is now on the SD card or CF card, depending on which card you are recording to. Now we also have cool touch options on the back panel here. When you are filming, if you need to focus on something, you could simply tap on that item and the camera will focus on that item. Your servo AF can also be paused, which will stop your camera from searching and trying to find something in focus. With servo AF enabled or resumed, your camera will follow focus whatever it thinks is the subject. And to find that, all you have to do is tap on it. And then as a person walks back and forth or to and from the camera, the camera will automatically focus back and forth on that person, keeping them in focus. It is fantastic. So that's gonna do it on the options for this camera. If you get into your camera and you don't see all of those options that we have available, make sure that your camera is in manual mode or one of the aperture or shutter priority modes. If you have it in full auto, you will not see all of those automatic modes. Canon makes those things go away in auto mode just to simplify. So if you want more options, make sure to check out manual mode. If you're not familiar how to use manual mode, I recommend our Ditch Auto course, which is free. It helps you get out of using automatic mode on your camera and learn how to use manual mode. It is a photography course, but a lot of those things that I teach in that course translate over to shooting video. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Once again, that helps uh, support us and keep us making videos. The links in the description below are to any of the products that I mentioned. And by purchasing those, you are also supporting our channel. If you have any questions or thoughts or concerns, please make them in the comment section below this video so that we can communicate with you. And thanks again for checking out Ditch Auto. We hope to see you back soon.